All right, I'm going to try and talk about adaption. I don't know if it'll work out too well, but I'm pretty sure I know what adaption is because I've had to go through a lot of it. I mean, just today I was playing with somebody, and we had a really tough game. We almost lost, but we adapted, and we made sure that we we did what we had to do with our spells, and we ended up winning. All right, so adaption starts when you get earthquaked or volcanoed or anything that, that involves you getting damaged and you have to rack your brain and make some decisions in order to make sure that you're able to repair your base with many possibilities such as maybe sending all your braves to chop trees, repairing all your huts from a volcano, charging land bridge and repairing the land that got lowered from an earthquake or an erode. Things like that are called adaption. All right? Let's think of some ways that we can we can use adaption to our advantage. Say we're on PP. Say like we're being earthquaked relentlessly by people. We're actually making some adjustments to our mana. We have to charge lightning and land bridge instead of being offensive. What we can do instead of just keep land bridging it up to repair, we can adapt. We can make a single land bridge and then we can we can put defense around the damaged land, we can put it on the damaged land, and then after the damaged land comes back, we can build towers there. Now, this doesn't work all the time, but when you adapt with certain qualities that you have, like maybe you're a really good lightninger, or you're a very good, very good troop person, what you could do is, instead of just keep making land bridge like everybody else does, you can instead do something really different, like maybe use your lightnings by, by encamp, and then you can adapt and uh, upgrade your huts, and you can build defense where all your damaged land is, and you can wait for the land to come back. That's what we can do to help out. There's certain things that we can do to make sure that we're in the advantage, even though we have to adapt. Maybe on face-off, we have a land bridge to our high hill. What we could do, instead of trying to keep lowering it down and failing, we could do something different. Something different could be something close to the effect of when they cast a land bridge, we can make a land bridge onto the hill as well, and we can start putting troops on there, and we can make that as part of our defense. Now, even if they have the hill, we can still use that to our advantage. We can make a tower close to it. We can put a couple troops on there to stop them from using that by having the braves and the fire warriors that we have defending that place. We can have them push the shaman into the water. Everything that you do requires adaption. Everything. Craters. Craters, too. You get backdoored, you have to adapt. You have to put a defense in the back as well as make sure your front defense is good, too. Because now they have opened up two ways to attack, and we have to make sure we stop the pressure by adapting to both places. All right? If anybody has any questions about adaption, you can email Joe or I about this. Because adaption is a very hard process to explain. This tutorial session is over.